Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So today I'm going to show you an absolutely free way of finding a profitable niche in minutes using harpa.ai, which is currently my favorite GPT based plugin. So stay tuned. So before we begin, there are different ways of finding niches. And if you want me to cover the other ways, uh, you can ask for that in the comment section down below. But basically, you can go to expired domains, uh, marketplaces, you can look at the websites on sale, you can look at uh, profit reports for successful blogs, but one of the better and easier ways is to base your blog on hobbies. But there are a lot of hobbies and you need to know which are low competition and high value. So one of the easiest ways of doing that would be to go to Wikipedia. They have a beautiful page called list of hobbies and there are a lot of them, like a lot. <laughs> and what you can do, since uh, harper.ai is parsing data, you can run this little prompt. And before we proceed, the recurring question that I get a lot is about why don't you just use Bing? And although Bing is connected to Google, it is not capable of parsing the internet the same way that Harper is so just a quick example can dogs eat longer our favorite example that rivals that of can dogs eat banana so let's say this is the url that we're interested in and using harper let's just run this little commands which is extract an outline from and we'll just click page and Harper is actually extracting the H2s and it's actually adding on top of that, which is amazing. So uh, the H2s uh, in the original example went can dogs eat longer, health benefits, why can longer be bad for dogs? So we have can dogs eat longer, health benefits, why can dogs longer be bad for dogs? How to feed longer to your dog and how to feed longer to your dog. And this is how to, how many long and should a dog eat? This is this one. Alternative fruits. Are dogs allergic to long ends? So it's, it's actually doing something very peculiar. It, it is extracting the outline, but it's actually complementing this with additional information. And let's just try to use the same example with Bing. So we'll just go extract a blog post outline from, and we'll just insert the URL. And this is not the outline from the target URL. <laughs> and the way that I know that is because it's quoting all these URLs here. And the same goes for every other task. So if I wanted to ask it to fetch some specific data from the URL, it will not. So that's the biggest difference. That's the major difference. So having said that, let's uh, get back to our initial example. So what we want to do is to extract the uh, hobbies, but we want to do that in a specific way. So the prompt goes, I want to find a block niche based on a hobby. I am looking for lesser known low competition hobbies with high earning potential. Help me select 10 based on, and then we'll say page. And now let's see what happens. And this is magical, at least in my opinion. So it's selecting the niche for the topic from the ones that are listed here. And it's actually expanded on that, telling us what exactly it is. So the niche number one is hydro, hydroponics, then lapidary, I don't know what that is, home brewing, kombucha, bullet journaling, pet care, 3D printing. And we can see that 3D printing is here. And lapidary or whatever it is, it's here. Drone racing. So if we see if we, let's see if we have drone racing here. Mm, drone racing, this is it. Home improvements, yeah. And what we can do next, uh, let's say uh, extract seed keywords from the above list. Okay, let's copy this. So now what we can do, we can go to the keywords planner, get search volume and forecast. This is the list of our keywords. Get started. And now we have a beautiful report telling us basically the average monthly searches, the three month change and the year on year change, the competition and the beat. So now what we can do is to run the following prompt, pick a keyword with the highest 
volume lowest competition and highest bid. And I do realize that uh, the competition that Google Keyword Planner provides is for CPC, not for organics, but I'm yet to be convinced that there is no correlation between the uh, competition CPC or organic CPC. So be my guest to prove me wrong. So pick a keyword with the highest volume, lowest competition and highest bid. So this means it uh, attracts money. Okay, so based on the data provided, the recent keyword that meets all the criteria you specified, however, home improvement appears to have the highest search volume, the lowest competition and relatively high top of page bid range. Okay, so home improvements is still a very large uh, niche. And we can go suggest the second best keyword and explain why. And this is key pet care. Okay, it gives us all the reasoning, third best. And the third best is hydroponics gardening. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. So it just so happens that I'm very familiar with the pet niche and I know that although it is not madly competitive, there is not very much money in it. As far as home improvement, it is a good niche, uh, but you have to, it's, a, it's more of a market, not a niche. So you have to be even more specific than that. But hydroponics gardening, I think it is specific enough. And then we can go hydroponics gardening. Let's go back to Harpa, list 10 sub niches for hydroponics gardening. Sure, here are 10 sub niches for hydroponics gardening. Indoor hydroponics gardening, organic, hydroponic herb gardening, hydroponic flower gardening. Let's copy this over. Get search volume. So I'm liking the hydroponic herb gardening, for example. So now if we want to get low competition keywords in that niche, we insert the seed keyword, which is going to be hydroponic herb gardening. Then we go to the SEO Minion plugin which is here, and we download the PAAs. So I will show you the example with five levels. So basically this plugin fetches the people also ask questions and saves them into the CSV file. And PAAs are oftentimes less competition. So this is what we want for a new niche and a new website. So we could, we got back some low competition long tail keywords. And now what we can do is to go to Keyword Chef, click on Discover, then use the bulk upload feature. Let's go to Hydro Onyx PAAs and click Import. Then to see which one of these are low hanging fruits, we need to get all SERPs. So it looks like we're down here. Click on Update. The mains, and we can see that we have 52 keywords which Quora is ranking for in very high positions. So these are all up for grabs. Like, do hydroponics need to run at night? Can I use vinegar in hydroponics? Are hydroponic nutrients toxic? And we have another 20 on Reddit. And yeah, so this is basically it. Uh, this is one of the ways to use AI and namely Harpa.ai to find a profitable niche. Then check the volume and whether it has some money behind it so we, via the Google Keyword Planner. Then extract the PAAs using the SEO Minion and then finally go to Keyword Chef and see those long, low hanging fruits, low competition keywords. Hope this was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.